Now think what this says about our relationship with God. The judgment is a fearsome thing to contemplate. And because the judgment is so fearsome, you read Daniel 7, where the Father is there in all his brilliant glory and a hundred million angels watching. You remember his throne was fiery flames, his wheels were burning fire, and a stream of fire issued and came forth from before him. The court sits in judgment and the books are open. And we stand there to be judged, it's fearsome. And so we seize on the, the teaching of Jesus that the Father has given all judgment to me as a great relief. Because would it not be better to be judged by the Son than to be judged by the Father? Think what that implies. Hasn't Jesus come to correct that error? That the Father is just as loving as the Son. Well, then why does he say, take heart, I will be your judge. The Father has given all judgment to me, and you know me as a friend. Don't we often say, we have a friend in court, and who's the friend? Not the Father. See, the, what's implied is the Father is no friend. And Jesus is going to say at length, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. The Father loves you as much as I do. So what is this? Take heart, Jesus is our judge. He will be our friend, more friendly than the Father. Well, he has a different explanation here. Now look at 1244. Jesus cried out and said, He who believes, now remember you can substitute faith and trust, same word exactly, in me, trusts not in me, but in him who sent me. Don't make these distinctions between me and my Father. And he who sees me, sees him who sent me. Normally, we use John 14 for that. The reply to Philip, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. It's here in John 12. It's twice in John. He who sees me, sees him who sent me. I have come as light in the world. Remember John 3 says some prefer darkness to light? I've come as light. That whoever trusts in me may not remain in darkness. Now if the light... Now if anyone hears my sayings... What sayings? Like, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. The Father loves you as much as I do. If anyone hears my sayings and does not keep them... Now keep, we always think of keeping commandments and rules. No, it's all his sayings. I mean, do you accept as true what I've said about my father, the light I brought? If anyone hears my sayings but doesn't keep them, that is, doesn't accept them, doesn't hold them as true, I do not judge him. That is, if you prefer Satan's lies to the truth, I do not condemn you. For I did not come to judge the world, I came to save the world. Now, he who rejects me, and isn't that going to fit your point? To reject the light is to reject Christ, exactly what you said. He who rejects me is equivalent to not accepting what I've said is true. He, he who rejects me and does not receive my sayings has a judge. You say, ah, oh, now, we do have a judge then. The word that I have spoken will be his judge on the last day. Then how does that work in the judgment? Can you see it's not arbitrary at all? We're judged by whether or not we have chosen the truth as over against Satan's lies. And if we, have, if we have welcomed the light and the truth and have been won back to trust and faith in God, God has been able to save and heal all who trust him. And all will be well. And he will say in the end, let him that is righteous stay that way. Now what if I've preferred darkness to light, Satan to Christ, Satan's lies to the truth, and I have not been won back to trust in God? He has not been able to save and heal me. And he will say of me, and it's John who writes it in Revelation, let him that is filthy stay that way. And that's the judgment. Now if that's the judgment, why then do we have a more elaborate picture of it, if that's the essence of the judgment? It really isn't God has to weigh things and say, well, I don't think he made it. It's more like a physician diagnosing. Think this person is not safe to save. This one is. This one has been healed. This one has not. Now, who makes the decision whether we are or not? We make that decision. So we judge ourselves. He just acknowledges the decision that we've made. Now, what could be fairer than that? And that's the description of the judgment.